Hey everybody, this is Adam from WIS by Adam Lash, and in this video I'm going to review Modern Combat 5, Game Loft's fifth installment of the famous franchise. But before we start, I gotta say something here. I've never heard of Modern Combat before. I mean, I've never played parts 1, 2, 3, or 4, and thanks to one of my subscribers, he mentioned that in one of his comments, and he was wondering how the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10.5 would perform if you play this game. And this video will show you exactly the graphics performance. But keep in mind that the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10.5 has two different versions. The Wi-Fi version, which comes with an Exynos 5 Octa processor, and the LTE version, which comes with a Snapdragon 800 processor. And as for the GPU, the Wi-Fi version comes with the Mali T628 MP6 GPU, and the LTE version comes with the Qualcomm Adreno 330 GPU, which is slightly better than the Mali, but nevertheless, both of them are just powerful enough to handle anything you throw at them, and this tablet is a beast. Let's go ahead and have a look at Modern Combat 5 and see how this game performs on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10.5. All right, there, there's the uh, loading screen right there. So let's wait just a little bit for it to, uh, to load. Now, Modern Combat 5 is, as the game suggests, a first-person shooter and is developed by Gameloft. And the graphics are pretty amazing. I mean, I've never seen a game like this on a handheld device before. It looks pretty similar to Call of Duty. And you get to play multiplayer as well, and the single campaign is just brilliant. Now, you can see here, this is the main screen. You've got home stats, the loadout of your weapons, global squad. These are for, for chatting, for multiplayer chat. A message is right there. So the multiplayer experience is pretty similar to many other first-person shooter games such as Counter-Strike. Keep in mind that Modern Combat 5 is a graphics intensive game and I've set the graphics, the GFX quality here to better quality which is the highest graphics setting you can have for this game. Make sure that your device can, can handle this game and the Galaxy Tab S10.5 is a beast, it can handle anything you can throw at it. So let's go ahead and have a look at the multiplayer mode. But before that, you can see the, the messages right here. I got some messages from this hot chick called Rue. She's actually the main one of the main characters in this game. And there's my squad. Okay, you've got oh, they got the settings right there. I got messages from from different people. Friends list, stats, uh, your weapons loadout. And also you've got different classes for this game. There are four classes, including assault, heavy, recon, and sniper and you can unlock them as you progress through throughout the game. So let's go ahead and have a look at the single player mode. As you can see here, there are different locations, but the first one here as you start the game is in Japan. There are different locations in Venice, Italy as well, and there are four to five missions in each conflict zone. So let's go ahead and try The Awakening, part four. Oh, there's our hot chick, Rue. Okay, there you go. So our objective is to exit the temple, kill the exec executioner, and to score. The gameplay is smooth, the graphics look beautiful, and I just love it.
Now the controls may be a little bit difficult at first, but you'll get used to them since uh, the game is based on touchscreen. We got backup. Finally. Just in time. Get in. No shit. So there you go. Mission completed. And I hope this shows you how good the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10.5 is at handling graphics intensive games such as Modern Combat 5. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a nice day.